Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Capricorn, this is a collective message for your sign. Collective love message for your sign. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. So we have truth, answers, guilt, lesson, learned, done, step, hidden emotions, holding back. Yeah. We are connecting here with someone who has regrets. Capricorn. Who has regrets. They feel that they messed things up. It's done. It's done. You don't want to talk to them. This is someone who has a tendency to hold back, to hold to hold has a tendency holding back. Okay. I feel that they were kind of hiding their emotions. I feel that at some point you wanted to uh, know some, to, 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 to get some sort of answers. You wanted to know the truth and they were unable to provide you with that. Very secretive energy. Yeah, this is someone who feels that it's, it's done. It's done. However, they do kind of um, deep inside they would like to take an action. Let's see. Show us more about the situation for Capricorn. They, they feel really guilty about something here. This is someone who has guilty conscious. And they, you might be coming from the place I've learned my lesson. You know, I'm done. It's that's how they feel as well, that you might be done with them. And it's because of them holding back, wearing a mask, not being fully transparent. Someone who was high. This is someone who is hi hiding their emotions. And when I feel that when it came to a certain situation, you wanted some answers, you wanted truth, and they didn't give you that. Queen of Swords, the star. We might be dealing with Aquarius. Strong Aquarius is showing up. Eight of Wands, communication. Uh huh. Okay. So we have ten of ten of swords. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, two of swords, and ten of swords. The fall at the bottom of the deck. I have very strong Aquarius, also Aries. Absolutely, Queen of Swords. I feel that you at some point demanded the truth. Or there is a situation that, you know, you've kind of a thinking, I really want to know some, you need to give me some answers. I'm demanding, because Queen of Swords, she's holding the sword of truth and she has this in a, in a, a traditional kind of imagery of this card. We have the Queen who is inviting a person to come forward. And it is like, I am open for communication, but no BS, just truth and honesty. And that's the first card here. I feel that you're demanding answers. Or there was a situation that you wanted some answers and you didn't get it with the two of swords. This person was holding back. They didn't want it to deal with it. They didn't want it to give you those answers. And there was a conversation. There was a communication with the eight of wands. And it's like, mm -mm, they were blocked. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what they're showing here. Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, the Star, and the Ten of Swords. I feel that you really tried to heal the situation. You really tried to find positives with regards to this particular connection or dynamics or this person. But something here ended. Or it might be a case that if it's at the now if you if you are kind of experiencing that sort of kind of dynamic situation i feel that you might be uh kind of coming into conclusion that 
something here really needs to change because there is this with the ten of swords there is this kind of energy uh, of betrayal you might feel that this person betrayed your trust you really kind of uh, you had a high hope you have you had a high hopes when it comes to this connection but this person it's like one-sided it's they are they no they are not fully transparent they don't want to talk they don't want to deal it's no not this time i don't want to mm -hmm. and i feel because of their attitude you might be coming to conclusion that something at something here really needs to change or you're done because ten of swords is the card of endings if that's the past situation i feel that You've tried very hard. Something here with the Knight of Pentacles. You were very patient. Uh, you were giving this person time with the star. You, you had high hopes. You were full of hope, but this person um, created some sort of blockages and things ended between the two of you. We have the Fool here, which is very interesting. Mm-hmm. It's like someone here wants to be given another chance. Seven of Swords, Page of Cups. Yes, they want to bring an offer with this Page of Cups. They want to come back around and have a new beginning with the Page of Cups. They want to offer you some sort of small apology or something like this. Seven of Swords. I don't feel you trust this person at all. And I feel this person wants to sneak him back to your life. What's going on here, Capricorn? This is specific reading. It might not resonate with all of you. But this is someone's message here. Show me this person's feelings towards Capricorn. It's like there was no feedback when it comes to this 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 important communication conversation that you that you had with this person and then you might be coming from the place when so what so what then what what am i supposed to do it's like you are talking to the wall no feedback none show me this person's feelings Towards Capricorn, please. Nine of Wands. Page of Wands. Yeah, communication. Queen of Pentacles. Uh huh. That's their feelings. There you go. King of Cups and Two of Cups. This is someone who loves you. Seven of Cups. But they are. This is someone who loves you, but they, they, it feels like they don't know what they want. And I feel that's the impression they ga gave you because of lack of collaboration when it comes to this connection. Page of Wands. So deeply inside in their feelings, this is someone who wants to send a message, who wants to communicate. Queen of Pentacles. They see you as someone who brings a lot to the table, who has so much to offer. King of Cups to the Two of Cups. They love you. This is someone who loves you. I don't know why. I don't know why they're acting that way. I don't know why they acted that way. I, I, I have no idea. But Two of Cups in someone's emotions towards some, someone. This is love. This is someone who wants to be with you. King of Cups. They want to be emotionally available. It's like this person has emotions deeply inside. Deep inside, they do have emotions for you. But I feel that at some point they give you mixed signals with the seven of cups. It's like they came across that they don't know what they want. And in their feelings, it feels like they do know what they want. It's that uncertainty that this person brought to this connection. It's like you don't know what is going on. Do you love me? Or I am just an option, option for you. And you're just keeping your, you know, 
other options open. Am I a priority or just an option? This is someone who subconsciously loves you deeply inside, but they are confused. They are just confused. It's confusing me. If you are frustrated, I can feel that frustration because when I look at this energy, I am frustrate, frustrated, My feel this frustration myself. Two of cups to the seven of cups give us nine of cups. This person sees you as a wish fulfillment subconsciously, deeply inside, emotionally, intuitively. They know that you are their person, but they're acting in a completely opposite way. They love you. So if you've been wondering if this person has feelings for you, big time. They do. They do. They do. How you see this person, Capricorn. How you see this person, Capricorn. You might be dealing with Sagittarius. Or you have strong placements in Sagittarius. Ten of Wands. No, so, yeah, frustration. Exactly. Absolutely. The Moon. Of course. How you see this person, Capricorn? As a confused individual. Don't know what they want. Secrets. Absolutely. Might be dealing with Pisces. Seven of Pentacles. And they are stuck in that mindset. That's the thing. Ace of Pentacles. The thing about it is that th there is a potential for this person to, 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 you know, it's like, I feel that it, it feels like a lost opportunity here. And it's not, uh, it's like from this person's side, it's like they created this whole situation. There was a lack of, you know, um, collaboration. It was like a one-sided thing I'm getting here. How you see this person, 10 of wands. This person is creating as someone who is difficult, let's say it that way. And I feel that over time, this, is, this, is, this individual starts burdening you. In a sense, their actions, their attitude. It feels like a heavy burden. It's been too much. Why? Because this person brought enormous amount, way too much uncertainty to this, to this connection. Uh, with the moon, I feel that you seize them again, you see? Someone who is hiding their emotions, who is unavailable, who has secrets, who, who is full of confusion. They don't know what they want. They are holding back. You might even see them as someone who is two-faced. They cannot be trusted. And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like they, ha it's like they are stuck. Because Seven of Pentacles in that... Um, um, combination of cards represents someone who uh, is deeply who has deeply rooted uh, insecurities or issues and they are projecting those insecurities or issues on this connection and with the seven of pentacles it's like the, the, the this is someone who needs so much patience that it, what i want to say it's like you might feel that you need to be patient with them because it takes so much time for them to kind of open up. Mm -hmm. This person is stuck. I feel that you see them as someone who just, it's unable to change their ways. And the moon, they have secrets, they're not fully transparent. It wouldn't surprise me to someone who's been in and out, hot and cold in this connection. And within time, it's just, it's, you see this person as a hard work. And I also feel that you might be suspecting that this, this person um, have a baggage or they are stuck in their past. It's, it's actually quite burdening for them, but they don't, they don't, it's like they, they don't want to do the work. They are waiting on something here, but what if there is no action? They need to do the work. But I see, I feel that you see them uh, mainly as someone who is very confused, 
they don't know what they want they hiding their emotions they are holding back and they create an enormous amount of instability and confusion and disconnection which within time start be start start started to feel like a burden for you and the sad thing is here that i feel that with the ace of pentacles you saw a potential for stability with this individual but someone here needs to do the work right seven plus one give us eight they need to do the work eight of pentacles work show me the outcome show me the outcome for capricorn show me the outcome for capricorn with regards to this connection for the near future for the next 11 days Because we, we, we see that this person wants to uh, deeply insight, send a message or communicate. Five of Wands. The Sun. Uh huh. Okay. Show me the outcome for the next. Interesting. Judgment and Four of Wands. You might be dealing with Leo. I also have uh, Scorpio, Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is very interesting because what I am seeing, I feel that at the moment um, there is a conflict between the two of you with the Five of Wands. Certain things been said in a certain way. I feel that you've stood up for yourself, you vocalized your opinion again, there was this com communication. Five of Wands is this energy of tension, frustration also, you know. I, I feel that there was a disagreement or there is a tension between the two of you and you just don't speak. You are not on the speaking terms, that, let, let's say it that way. You don't speak with each other. You are not on the speaking terms. There is no contact situation. Well, it seems like this person here indeed will take an action because we have the sun which is energy of happiness therefore it's, it's it's giving me a sign that this person here wants to heal this connection they want to heal this conflict to be precise that uh, might occur between the two of you judgment it's a major energy of the past they want to resurrect something here with you meaning relationship four of wands mm -hmm. so capricorn I don't feel, it, however, <laughs> however, with the nine of wands, I don't feel you trust this person. You have your guard up. Mm -mm -mm. This is someone who needs to really prove that they that they they are willing to do the work. That they willing. This person needs to tell you the truth and give you some sort of answers. And if they are willing to do that, then I feel that actually. You know, you might look at the situation a little bit differently, but it doesn't mean that they will have an, you know, energetically access to you because that that's not no nine of wands is we putting health, very strong and healthy boundaries. And there is a reason for that. So what I wanted to say here, Capricorn, is that if you want this uh, if you want deep inside this person to come forward and apologize and heal this uh, this conflict between the two of you or this tension that might be present in this connection uh, your wish will be granted here okay because we have the sun which is the happiest card in a deck sun it's happiness joy and fulfillment this is a big yes card and next to this five of wands energy it feels like this disagreement or, or argument can be healed and this is someone who will reach out with the judgment because ultimately they want to resurrect this connection with the four of wands. It might be a twin flame energy. You might be healing, healing. You might be healing actually. You might be dealing here with your twin flame or unhealed twin really. And it makes sense because this person loves you. They want to be with you. So what I am seeing here that either way they will uh, they will come forward, they will reach out. Uh, 
they want to talk and I feel that they will, uh, uh, they will take an action. They will apologize. Yes, they want to heal this with the sun. They want to bring more happiness to the situation. Uh, they want to kind of, uh, I'm getting, that's why, I, because we have here a quite clear message and when we have this card, it's like, uh -huh. so something here, it's like this person wants to do something. And that's what I, I was getting as well, that deeply inside, they want to send a message and it feels like that they will. This is a very positive outcome. It feels like so, some sort of difficulty, obstacles can be overcome, you know, with the sun. Because sun, it's ultimately this energy of healing, happiness, joy. It represents everything what's beautiful, like the Empress. Also, this is a major card of healing, the star. Judgment, they want to resurrect. This connection, they want to be with you. This is someone who's coming back. And I feel they want to apologize or they want to talk about this disagreement or this tension between the two of you. It's like they want to bring more happiness to this situation because this person's ultimate goal is to be with you, to be in a connection with you, four of wands. This is a relationship that brings stability and that's what they want. But I feel that you have your guard up and I, with these cards, I'm getting that you have a perfect reason uh, to, to kind of, uh, to not fully trust this situation. This is someone who needs to earn your trust because it feels like they don't know what they want or they are confusing you. They need to open up. And the sun is bringing that energy of enlightenment. Something here, it feels like they might have say something. They might provide you with some sort of answers. And I'm seeing big opportunity, I mean opportunity, big possibility only if you want. Capricorn to reconcile with this person because all, this is their ultimate goal. So uh, the, the decision will be yours and the choice will be yours if you want to kind of uh, give this person a chance. You have good outcome here for this connection. So it feels like this, 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 this conflict here, main, main, main message is that this conflict can be healed and ultimately uh, the sun with the judgment and the four of wands it gives this opportunity, possibility for both of you to, to kind of uh, resurrect this connection, but only if you want. Capricorn, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Capricorn, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.